Welcome to Beyond By Wings, the business side of dentistry, brought to you by Edwards & Associates PC. Join us as we discuss how to build your dental practice, optimize your income, and plan for your future. This podcast is distributed with the understanding that Edwards & Associates PC is not rendering legal, accounting, or professional advice. Listeners should consult with their business advisors before acting on any of the information that is shared. At Edwards & Associates PC, our business is the business of dentistry. For help or more information, visit our website at enassociates.com. Hello and welcome to another episode of Beyond Bite Wings. In today's episode, we have a very special guest. His name is Darren Tessitori. He's from Boston, Massachusetts, and he's currently the CEO at Thrive Reviews. Now, you may ask, what is Thrive Reviews? Well, it's a company that's been dedicated for over five years for people all across the country to help them with their marketing and more specifically with their online presence. So, Darren, how are we doing today? We're doing great, Ash. Thanks so much for having us. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, Thrive Reviews. Um, t- tell us a little bit about what made you start this company and how you got involved in this industry and you know how long you've been doing this and you plan to do this. Yeah, it's a really good question. So uh, here I am one night, I'm sitting in my office and I'm working on a marketing strategy for a large client of mine out on the West Coast. And mm-hmm. They were, they're a local driver ed school. They have about 30 driver ed locations all across the Northwest. And Uh we were optimizing their website and getting their website, tons and tons of traffic on Google and all other search engines. But what we noticed is a lot of these searches were coming from people that weren't in their geographical area. Right. So, you know, if you're a driver ed school in Seattle, you don't care if someone finds you that's in Boston. That's right. right. It's not going to help you any. You want that local search. Mm-hmm. So that's when I, I, I realized we need to have a solution for these local businesses that are relying on local traffic to come to their store or business or call their location. And that's when we started dissecting this. We started diving in and trying to figure out how do we do this? How do we go in and hone in and target and get Google to find me? And that's when we quickly realized how searching on Google has drastically changed. Mm -hmm. You've probably heard of the near me search, Mm -hmm. right? So if you like pizza place near me, driving school near me, dentist's Mm -hmm. office near me. Mm -hmm. Well, what Google's doing when you type that is it's looking for those businesses that match that category that are physically near you, right? And, And that's where we started really looking at how do we get you to rank in that near me search and it's interesting because you know the first thing that pops up isn't the customer's website no really it's their google business profile it's that profile that google creates for you for free on their map app Mm. so i'll give you an example open up your browser on your computer type in dental practice near me you're going to see a few ads and then you're going to see three listings from the Google Maps. And that's called the three pack. That's the Google Map three pack. It lists those three top businesses that relate to what you're searching for that are pulled from Google Maps. And those are Google business profiles. So we then started realizing we need to shift our attention to optimizing those Google profiles because the customer is not looking at the website first, they're looking at the Google profile first, and then they're going to the website to verify that this customer, this client, or that they're searching for this business is legit. Nice. And that's what we did. So then we, we, we've we figured out, how do you optimize a Google profile? How do you get it to rank in the top of those that three pack? And then what does Google want? What are they looking for? What do they need? What are they, what are they trying to do? And that's where we've been mastering that for the past five years. Oh, wow. Which that's is, amazing. You know, yeah. So it's interesting. It's an interesting take on the search engine optimization, right? It's if, if you have a website that you need to rank for that is selling something to anybody anywhere, then yeah, your website needs to be optimized. But if you're a local dentist or a doctor or a chiropractor or an urgent care or anybody that relies on these local businesses, restaurants, then you need to optimize your Google profile. And if you don't have a Google profile strategy, 
you are missing a ton of traffic. Wow. You know, I'm actually yeah. blown away the fact that you just mentioned this. Now, it's true. I deal with clients and their business needs fairly often, but I don't go into the nitty gritty of, let's say, search engine optimization. And I mean, I've used Google Maps. I still do. And you're right. I get these options, but I never would have guessed that it's separate from what you've already set up online, like your website or something. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't mean you shouldn't have a website because Google is going to literally crawl everything that's connected to your Google profile. So like, for example, you can connect all your social profiles to your Google business profile mm -hmm. and you can connect your website. So if your social profiles and your website are out of date or old or not active, mm -hmm. Google's going to think that your business isn't active. They're going to think that you're not legit, that you're not what this customer is looking for. This customer wants a Mexican restaurant. Well, if your Mexican restaurant hasn't had a review in six months, and you haven't posted anything on social media in six months, and you haven't changed your website in two years or added anything to your website in two years, Google's not going to list you in that top three, especially with the pandemic, with so many businesses shutting down. They don't know what's open and what's not. And the only way they know what's open and what's not is by your activity on those different apps, right? So it's really interesting. There's this whole new science that's developed around optimization of a Google business profile and getting that profile to pop up in the top three organically without spending any money on ads. Because I don't know about you, but when I look at that, those, that three pack, there's always an ad at the top and I skip it. I never click on the ad, right? I'm like, I don't want the ad. That's just what Google is getting. That guy's bidding the most for my keyword. They said, I'll pay $5 as opposed to this other guy that'll pay $3 and they're going to get my attention. Mm -hmm. And then there it is. And I'm like, I don't want that. I want the organic one. I want the one that I know is real, right? Because that's what's going to pop up. That's going to be more relevant to me. Guaranteed is the one that's not paid for. I we see. all know that now. We know that, oh, that's just an ad. That's just an ad. That's just an ad. There's my listing that I want. Boom. Best Mexican restaurant in Albuquerque. Boom. There it is. Wow. Amazing. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about that because I feel like people like me, where we hear SEO and AdWords and we're automatically thinking, okay, website needs to be optimized by an SEO specialist. Certain AdWords need to be put in. I need to put in money. I need to figure out how much money to set aside Ooh. per month for that. And that's it. And we feel like, you know, it's, it's a cookie cutter method for everyone. But you actually mentioned something there that didn't sound like a cookie cutter method. You're saying there's mm -hmm. more to it and you need to target it and you need to look more into it. And and you went on about talking about a Google profile and the three packs. So this is sounding very, very fascinating and interesting to me. Okay. Um, and, and then while you were talking about this, you also mentioned that, you know, Google's also going to see how active you are, right? So if there hasn't mm -hmm. been a review for more than six months, it may think you're inactive. So talk a little bit about that. So how often do you think reviews need to come in for a business for Google to, to think that it is currently active? That's a really good answer question. So the the first answer to that question is mm -hmm. more than your closest competitor. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Right. So like I'll give you an example. I have an urgent care customer that's in Northwest Florida, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they have um, right now about 6,000 reviews, mm -hmm. right? And they're getting reviews at such a fast rate that their competitors, their lo lo closest competitor is at about 150 reviews. Right. Wow. So every day they get anywhere from 10 to 20 reviews. Why? Because they have a very specific strategy in place and they know exactly when to ask for a review. And they have a very simple method that we put in place for them to ask for that review. Mm -hmm. And then we also automate the ask for review. So we send a text and an email to all the clients that leave. So once they check out mm -hmm. and they walk out the door, a text and email will get sent to them asking them to leave a review. But the receptionist will do the same thing. And what they've done is they've implemented a bonus program. So when you get a review and you work for this organization, you get a $10 bonus. Oh. So if I'm at reception and I'm seeing 100 patients a day, mm -hmm. I can make some money. That's right. I, I can probably make more than my hourly pay if I, if I ask and get reviews from everybody. So it's a, it's, a, it's a strategy. It is a marketing strategy that they've worked into their marketing budget to pay their staff to get them reviews. Why? Because if you go to anywhere within a 25 mile radius of that business and type in urgent care, boom, they're number one. 
right? So is it worth it for them? It definitely is because who's going to go to Google and go urgent care and not look at the one that's closest to them with the most reviews, right? They're just going to click on it and go, who are these guys? Oh, that's who they are. Let's go. And then they're going to go to that business, right? So optimizing your Google profile, let's kind of take a, a, a big picture of where you start here. Um, overall, what you need to do is the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure the name and your Google business profile is a match for what you need or what your business is. Okay. And then you need, you need to make sure that your category is proper. Mm -hmm. A lot of people just randomly pick a category. You don't want to do that. You want it to be a very specific category that targets what you're offering. Mm. And then you can pick up to five different subcategories. I recommend keeping it simple and only picking three. Mm -hmm. We've seen people get lost when they start getting into the four and five. Mm -hmm. Pick three subcategories that match. And if there are not three subcategories that match, then only pick the ones that do. If it's two, if it's one, that's fine. You want to hone in on what your category is, right? Because that's what Google is going to do. Mm -hmm. And then you want to make sure your description is properly written using highly targeted keywords and use every single word you can in that description. Google gives you a very specific number of words that you can put in your description. Mm -hmm. You want to use every single one of those, right? Mm -hmm. I think the number here, let me see what the actual number you have, 750 characters. Use 750 characters. If you need to go to ChatGTP and ask it to write it for you, then do that. Say, so, hey, Chat GTP, I am a driver ed school in Seattle, Washington, and I want to write my 750 character um, Google business profile description. Can you please write this and put all the keywords that we need into it? Boom. And then you'll get a nice 750 character word um, written description. Go in there and reword it all you need and then post that into your Google profile. Um, yeah, so those are the key things that I recommend doing. And then also using your Google link. There, uh, Google review link, there's an oh, ask for review link mm -hmm. in your Google profile. Turn that into QR codes. Give that to every one of your staff that are going to ask for reviews and have them go to that QR code. Um, super, super easy to do. Anyone can do that. And then just make it a part of your business plan. Ask for reviews constantly. And then on top of that, you want to respond to all those reviews and respond to them fast. The faster you respond, the better you're going to get. Um, the better you're going to rank. Google's going to see you as active. Um, there are a couple other things in here that I will recommend. One is in your Google profile when you log in and you hit edit profile, mm -hmm. scroll halfway down the page, and you're going to see a new section there called uh, social profiles. This is where you can add links to all your social media profiles. Mm -hmm. Um, it's fairly new. It came out within the last couple months. You can add um, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, and Twitter. Um, go in there and add those if you have them. The if mutual. they're active. If you're not doing anything with them, don't even bother. It's just going to be a waste. If you're constantly using them and you're active in those profiles, then yes, go in there and use them and, 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 and um, connect them. And then another thing you want to do is you want to add an update. So if you go into your Google profile, uh, business.google.com, log into your account, you'll see um, about halfway down the page, uh, along the top, you'll see a something, something that says add updates. Mm -hmm. um, these are like social posts you can do to Google profile. We so recommend individual doing those posts. as often as you can. Um, what was that? Uh, so the individual posts from your social media, not the embedded code for the main handle no yeah you so if you're in google if you're you want to you want to connect your social profiles but then mm. you can also add updates to your google business profile it nice. literally lets you add a picture with a description or an offer like a special discount mm. or an event right mm. so if you have an event coming up you can add it here if you have a special offer That's like let's say your dental practice that mm. you want to do you know a 99 dollar cleaning mm -hmm. then put your 99 dollar cleaning offer in there put your picture add your title, add your start and end date, and there's even an ability to put a link in there or mm -hmm. a coupon code mm -hmm. so you can link for them to redeem it where they can click the link, go to your web page, and schedule a, a cleaning, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, an, that's a, real, uh, it's a real post you do within your Google profile. Um, a lot of people don't even use this. Um, our clients, they do them once a week. We actually automatically wow. do that for them as part of our service. Mm -hmm. We post to their Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn and the Google business profile minimally once a week for our lowest level client. 
Um, we create the content and put it right on their social profile and put it right in their Google business page. That helps with the local SEO, shows Google that you're going to, that you're active and you're doing something with your website and your social media, and it will help rank you even higher. Um, so those are a couple things you can do right out of the gate that are really easy plays. Like you can, you can go and do these today and start ranking higher, mm. um, which is super important. Right, right, right. And, and then I will get the ball started. I can completely understand mm -hmm. that. But it's not just doing these few steps that there needs to be some ongoing supervision, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, 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 you go ahead to finish your question. I'm sorry. No, I was going to say, so for that, you know, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm thinking of my clients and some of the listeners that we have, you know, uh, they have a business, they have a family, and maybe they'll pull out some time uh, during the year to do this and they'll do it maybe right after listening to this podcast, they'll sit down and do it. But, but I'm also trying to think, I'm like, okay, but after that, somebody needs to respond to these reviews. Somebody has to, you know, uh, if there's a negative review, somebody has to address it. Um, and for that, they may also consider looking into a professional like yourself to oversee that. Yeah. I mean, it's the easiest way of doing it, right? Like we, we, we're a turnkey end to end solution for them. We go in and we update and optimize the profile. Mm -hmm. We connect their social profiles. We also update them in what's called directory listings. Mm -hmm. There's over a hundred directories across the internet that, internet that Google will crawl mm -hmm. and determine if you are relevant or not. So it's called your name, address, and phone number, or NAP score. Uh, and what they do is they'll look against these hundred directories to see if you're actually in those directories. Uh, and yeah, you can go and manually enter yourself, um, or we just we just update your profile, hit a button, and it automatically updates all 100 of these directories every month. Hmm. It'll go and check for changes and then update it automatically for you. Um, it's called listings. If you can go and buy a feature like that for anywhere from, you know, 150 to $200 a month, hmm. um, we include it in our, our, our packages. We then also post to your social, post to your Google profile. Um, and then we also automate your reviews and train your staff on how to ask for reviews. Automation is important. But having it as part of your business model and having it in your staff's head to ask and making it easy for them to get is super important. It can't just be an automate and forget about. And I've seen customers do it both ways where they'll just automate and not do anything. Mm -hmm. And they'll get reviews, yes. But when they automate and then make it part of their plan to ask, mm -hmm. they'll get 10 times as more reviews. Right. Because it, it, they're asking, right? The guy's right there in front of mm -hmm. me. Hey, how do we do? Mm -hmm. Are you happy with our plan, our service today? Mm -hmm. Great. Do you mind doing me a favor and helping me? Oh, sure. What can I do? Can you leave me a review on Google? Here's a QR code. Pull out your phone and scan this right now and go to that page and leave a review. How easy is that, right? It takes a second and you'll get that review, right? And then boom, there you go. I have a dental practice in Atlanta. Um, go into Atlanta, anywhere in Atlanta and type in dentist near me and they're going to be number one, right? They get over 40 new patients a week because wow, they're getting amazing. constant constant reviews, right? I know 40 a week for a dental practice is a lot. These yeah. guys have had to hire more dentists. Wow, um, that is amazing. I even had, he even referred me to his friend who's a mile away. I'm like, why do you want to refer me to your competition? He's like, Dan, we are so busy right now. It's not going to hurt us at all. Like, let him have some business. It's wow. totally fine. I'm like, okay, there you go. So now we're, we're helping his friend right down the street. Wow. And then we're adding the updates to profile. And also what we do is we actually have humans, not AI. Mm -hmm. Google will be able to detect AI. We have humans that will respond to your reviews for you. Um, it's funny, my daughter, who's in English, she studied English, went to university, got a degree in English, and uh -huh. then um, she runs that department. Wow, amazing. Yeah, so she responds. She started by herself, just responding all by herself. Uh -huh. And she decided to hire English students. She's like, look, I don't care when you work um, or where you work from. Download the Google Business Profile, Google Bi Google Map app onto your phone. Uh, we'll give you access to this many accounts. And then when a review pops up, you click on it and you respond. And you have 24 hours to respond to all the reviews you get. And we pay the staff, we pay them based on the number of clients that they manage. Oh, that's and amazing. They, I love that business model. Yeah, so they, they're not, you know, they're making money and it's not hard. Like they can make, you know, a couple thousand bucks mm -hmm. a month 
Mm -hmm. and literally just did it in there, still go to school, still have their regular life, still have their schedule, right. and just open their phone, and instead of going and watching Instagram. That's right. <laughs> right. Make some money on the side, right? Exactly. It's great side money, but it's, it's you know, it's it's good for them, too, and it gives them a real-world business experience as well. And That's right. And what we do is um, we train them on how to do it, how to yeah. answer it. We train them on HIPAA, so they're HIPAA mm -hmm. compliant. That's so that way, if it's a dental or a doctor or mm -hmm. anyone in those HIPAA areas, they're not going to violate HIPAA. Mm -hmm. A lot of our clients are dentists, and I had one dentist that was just, I don't know what he was thinking. He's just like, you know, they get a bad review, and he'd go in there and just bash this person. Well, when you came into our practice to get this root canal, you didn't tell us about blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you are going to get sued. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? It's yeah. a tip. You're publishing to the world that this guy's a patient. You can't do that. Right. So, so that's key. Yeah. Um, and then also um, having the keywords in your responses. So if you're going to respond yourself, put highly targeted keywords in those responses. I would have never thought of that. Look. Yeah, most people don't. They didn't realize it, but Google will index those those review responses, huh. okay. and they they will go through it and they'll look. Um, anyway, those are those are some things that someone can do today. You know, it doesn't doesn't have to be a lot, but if you can't do it yourself, you know, feel free to reach out to us. We'll definitely show you how we do it for you. Mm -hmm. And we're not super expensive. Our packages start at two hundred bucks a month. Oh, that's you know, it's not like very reasonable. It's very reasonable, and it's geared towards a small business, right? We're mm -hmm. We're a small business. We want to help small businesses. And I, I, I hate seeing these small businesses spend thousands of dollars on marketing products that don't get them any return, right? right. You, will, you will make your money back. You watch. When you go and you look at your traffic, you're going to get on Google, right? It's, it's mind-altering when you start seeing the number of people mm -hmm. that are going and seeing your profile. It will blow your mind, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it literally will. You, you just be blown away. Like, this one dental practice is getting... I'm just looking at his profile right now. He's getting over 10,000 visits a month to seeing his Google profile. That's unreal. Like, there are that many people searching for dentists in, in Atlanta. It's mind-blowing. And that too in right? Atlanta. I mean, that, wow. That's a that's Atlanta. It's, I mean, it's a big city, right? So obviously yeah, they're going to get a lot. a lot of but, competition, you know, but... A lot of competition. So it's, it's you know, to keep your, to keep your Google profile above your competition... The, the, the one thing I recommend doing is making sure you're getting more reviews than your competitors. Mm -hmm. If you're constantly getting more reviews than your competitors, mm -hmm. so look at your competitors. You can go and you can see how many reviews they have. And right. you can see how many reviews they got last week, last month, last year. You can kind of gauge it. It takes a couple minutes of research, but you, you can do it. And when you figure that out, you can go, okay, we need to get at least two reviews a day. Guys, our game, two reviews a day, let's go. All right, we need five reviews a day. Whatever it is, you know, make it the game. Make it make it fun. Get your team involved. Get them excited about it. Make it, you know, beneficial to them. I have one restaurant that that created QR codes for all of the sales staff, all the uh, waiters. So the waiters get a ten dollar bonus if someone mentions their name in a review. Hmm. No, that's a great Think great idea. Great, great bonus system. It's, it's a great bonus, and the, the wait staff love it, and they all play the game. Um, they all make a ton of extra money, and this guy's got thousands of reviews because everyone's playing the game, and they ask the people that they know are happy. If the guy's pissed off and not happy with the food, they're not going to be like, "Hey, you want to leave me a review?" <laughs> That's right. No. Yeah. You know, it has to be. It has to be a good review. That was the stipulation. You can't get ten dollar bonus so someone needs a one star <laughs> review. So, yeah, ask for the right. reviews from the people that you think had a good experience. Don't just ask. That's everybody. right. And <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's that's the key. You know and and make it personal. Make it mm -hmm. make it a help. Mm -hmm. Can you help me? Do you mind helping me? Mm -hmm. You know, and but start it with: Did I help you today? Did we help you today? Are you happy with what we delivered? Do you, do you feel helped? Yes, right. I do. I love it. Your service is amazing. Awesome. Do you mind helping me? Uh -huh. Right, and then you'll be totally surprised. People love to help people that help them. They yeah. just do, especially if they can give back. You know, it's it just makes sense. And especially you, I'll, I'll be honest with you, you know, I've interviewed so many guests with you. I can tell that genuinely, genuinely you care uh, you've shared some nuggets out there in our, in our episode today. And, you know, what I would want to do is have you share some of uh, your contact information on the episode so that if there's any listener that would want to dive deeper into this and get some additional, you know, ongoing help that they have a way to reach out to you. Yeah, definitely. No problem. You can email me, uh, Darren, mm. at D-A-R-R-E-N, at thrivereviews.net. 
mm-hmm. or you can go to our website, thrivereviews.net. Mm-hmm. You can call me at 727-300-1084. That's my direct number. You can even text that number. It's a, it's a textable number. So if you want to call me, text me, email me, feel free to reach out. I'm, I love helping small businesses. So I do it all day long. And it's funny because, you know, some clients we talk to, they don't have a budget and they're brand new. And I'm like, you know what? I'm still going to help you. And I'll show them how to do it. I'll show them what they can do on their own. We'll walk them through it. And then, yeah, at some point, they'll probably come back and use us or they'll tell someone else or whatever. It's just the way the universe works, you know? Right. You're willing to help people. People are going to help you. It's just. That's awesome. I love that philosophy. It is. And I kind of decided a long time ago that I'm never going to hold my help back. I know a lot about this. I've been doing this for a long time, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I know how it's done. And I'm, I have a lot of data on what people can do right now. I am totally fine with sharing that wisdom. Like if you go and you read my blogs, my blogs show you how to do everything we do. There's, there's no holding back. There's no secrets here. We do use the software to do a lot of the stuff that we do. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a super powerful software. Mm-hmm. We decided to, at one point, we were building our own software. We mm-hmm. decided to not build our software. We said, we're just going to outsource the software component to a large company that does exactly what we need to do, mm-hmm. that allows us to be able to sell it for less than they would sell it to the general public because we buy it in such large quantity. Mm-hmm. Um, so it makes our price points a little bit lower, makes it more affordable for the smaller to mid-sized business. Like our, like the software we buy, if a customer went to buy it, it would be $300 a month just for the software. That doesn't include the optimization of the profile, that doesn't include the responding to reviews, that doesn't include the social media posts, mm-hmm. right? You know, we, we have it down to a science. And Wow, that's amazing. Anyway. That's amazing. So, uh, there should be more people like you, Darren. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> thank you. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. And, I, and I agree. And I think, you know, there's probably a lot more of us out there than you would imagine. Wow. But, great. you know, I, I think we've been conditioned to think that we can't give away all of the stuff we know for free or we won't make any money. And I, I see it completely the opposite. That's good. To you know, know. I, it, it, I literally do. I think we all would end up making more money if we gave away all that we knew for free. Because, wow. for one, a lot of our clients aren't going to have the time to do it themselves. They're mm-hmm. just not. Mm-hmm. They're busy. Mm-hmm. So not only a great person who can help you with your Google profiles, but also a great human being. So, you know, he's dropped his um, plug. So anyone out there, if you guys are interested in reaching out to him, please reach out to him. And uh, Darren, it was so great to have you on our episode today. Thank you. Well, thanks so much for having me, Ash. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to subscribe to Beyond by Wings on your favorite podcast platform. For more information, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Or reach out to us on our website. You can also shoot us an email at info at eandassociates.com.